I've already done a couple of these skin videos and in this one I'm gonna do a fully stylized skin. I'm dividing it into three different stages. First one is the main skin color which is the base. Then adding the makeup and other stuff like freckles. At last making the shader by creating the roughness and translucency map all in blender. Timestamps are in the video if you want to skip to the juicy parts. But before we start as always if you want to download the 3d files and real-time process videos of all the characters I've done on this channel check out my gumroad and patreon page. Link in the description. Let's go. First thing first you need to have your character UV unwrap so it be ready for texturing. I separated the head from the body and separated the front of the body from the back. For the head I spread the UVs from the top side to the ears. If you want a tutorial on full body UV unwrapping tell me in the comments. If you don't have a window in the left just hover the mouse on the top left corner and drag out a new window then change it to shader editor. Click on new to assign a new material then shift a and add an image texture. Click on new. I put in 4k resolution. Go lower or higher based on the amount of detail you want to add. Name it a skin which I forgot to do. Then click on OK and connect it to the base color. Now hover the mouse on the bottom left corner and drag up a new window. Change it to UV editor. In the view turn off display texture UVs because we don't need it. Now we need an image to use as our palette for the skin color. So go ahead and search up skin color palette. If you're doing a character with a darker skin you can find the dark skin color palette as well. I'm gonna use this one. Link in the description if you want the exact image. Now click on open and open up the image. Hold ctrl tab and go to texture paint mode. Now hover your mouse on the color and press E to pick up the color picker. Move the mouse to the color you want on the image and click. Now we can use that color for the brush. We want to fill the base so pick up the fill tool and while the strength is on one click on the character and it fills the character with that color. For this style of painting I'm gonna use a rough brush but if you're looking for a smoother skin color default brush is fine. For the rough brush go to texture properties. Click on new. Click on open and open up the PNG image I linked in the description. Now press N to bring up this menu. Now bring the mouse to the color again and press E. Then pick up a darker color than last time. While the strength is on low number start painting around the nose and eyelids. Add some more around the cheeks then same around the neck and body especially around the breast area to add some depth to the mesh. Now let's press E again on the color and pick up a warmer color. Then I start painting around the nose to the cheeks. We want to build this skin layer by layer. Rushing it might ruin the final results. So make sure you're doing it step by step. Fill in the lips with the same color. Maybe use a smaller brush for the edges and make sure you don't overdo it. Cause we're still building the base. We'll make it more red as we get to the makeup step. Then work more on the eyelids and under the eyebrows. Don't forget to add hint of the color around the scalp to give it more depth. Hold Z and go to rendered mode. Hold Ctrl tab and go back to object mode. Move the light from the back of the character to the front on an angle which is facing the character. Maybe lower down the power so it wouldn't be so intense. Now we can see the character way better than before. So go back to texture paint mode and continue painting. Make the brush smaller and draw a line vertically on the side of the nose to make the nose look sharper. Also some towards the cheeks and some around the upper and lower eyelid. I want mine to be more stylized so I added a red hint to the cheeks. If you want to make your character blush you can pick up a dark red color to make it more intense. I use the same color for the lips. Since this is a stylized character I pick up a lighter color, scale down the brush size and start adding the small highlights on the lips to give it some fake reflections and some red color around the eyelids to give it some contrast. Also don't forget the ears. Using a small brush paint the areas around the bulges to pronounce the details a bit. Now let's take care of the body. Add a darker color around the breast to give it some depth. Paint some on the collarbone and the neck and a really subtle hint all around the body so it wouldn't be so flat. Lip color is still too pale so I pick up a dark red color with a really small size and add some dark color to the outer parts of the lip. As you can see there are some unreachable areas where I can't fully paint and it looks ugly. To fix that in the bottom left window change it from view to paint and using this button switch from color palette to the skin texture we've been working on. Drag out the tools and choose a smear brush. Now we can drag the paint to the inside of the mouth and maybe make it darker from the inside. I add the darker areas to the upper lip as well. Now hover your mouse to the texture image. Press 
Alt S and save the texture so you won't lose it. Then switch back to the color palette. We're almost done with the base. I just make the cheeks a bit more red. Also add some around the mouth. Then add some fake shadows in the nostrils. Now that the base is done, it's time to do the makeup. We're gonna add the makeup on another layer so it wouldn't ruin the main skin color. To do that, in the shader editor, press Shift A and add another image texture. Click on New. Choose the resolution and name it Makeup. Click on Color and drag the alpha to zero. This way we have transparent image. Now Shift A and add Mix Color. Then drop it between the main skin texture and principal BSDF. Connect the color from the makeup to B and connect the alpha to the factor. Now when you select the makeup image, you can paint on this layer without affecting the main skin texture, which is great. So pick up a dark color and with a small brush, start adding the eyeliner. You can darken the bottom eyelid too, based on the type of makeup you are gonna do. I started manually adding freckles using white small size brush. Only reason I'm doing it by hand is that I want more control over the freckles. You can use an alpha image to add the freckles really fast and easy, which I'm gonna show you later in the video. For the lipstick, I pick up a pinkish color, lower the strength and start adding the color to the lips. Last touches, I pick up a small brush and refine the eyeliner and we are done. Now let's move on to the shaders. First I'm gonna make the roughness map so we can control the shininess of the skin. To do that, move the mouse to the shader editor and press shift A. Add an image texture, click on new and name it roughness. Put down a resolution and set gray for the color. Then connect it to the roughness. If you're in rendered mode, you can see the reflection changed based on the roughness. If you don't know, in roughness maps, darker the color meaning shinier the surface, but lighter color meaning duller reflections. For now, it's too shiny. It looks like plastic. To fix that, select the roughness image texture. Go to texture painting mode and pick up the fill tool. Then change the color to a light gray. While the strength is on one, click on the object. And as you can see, reflections are now more spread throughout the skin. To see the roughness map better, just connect the roughness to the base color. Just for now. So we can see the color and the character. Now, some parts are more reflective than the others. You can look up face roughness map to see which parts are more dull and which parts are shinier. Lips, for example, is shinier. To make them more reflective, just pick up the paintbrush with a darker color and start painting the lips. Start adding the dark color on the cheeks and nose. Maybe do it while looking at some reference images on Google. Then connect the skin texture to the base color again so we can see the results. If some places are shinier than you would like, you can use a lighter color to fix it. Just make sure you're painting on the roughness map. After that, don't forget to go to image and save it in your texture folder. Now as I said, we can add freckles using images. Go to texture properties and open up the PNG freckles I link in the description. I made it in Photoshop so there's no copyright on it. Do whatever you want with it. In the tool menu, in the bottom, find the texture mask and remove the PNG brush we added before. Then in the texture section, select the freckles, change the mapping to stencil. Now you can see the freckles on the screen. You can drag it by holding right click, scale it up or down by holding shift right click and dragging it to left or right. You can also rotate it by holding ctrl right click instead of shift. Now choose a red color and while the strength is really low, start putting some around the cheeks, on the nose and other places you like. Now let's add subsurface scattering. If you don't know what it is, it's basically simulating how light penetrates through the object, especially on thin surfaces like ears. And for that, we need a map called translucency map. We're gonna bake the map inside Blender, so shift A and add ambient occlusion. Make sure you have the node triangular add-on enabled because we're gonna need it. Then hold Ctrl Shift and click on the ambient occlusion. Make sure you're in rendered mode and also switch to cycles, otherwise it doesn't work. Really important. Turn on inside and only local. Increase the distance until you get a similar 
similar results on the lips, cheeks and ears. Shift A and add image texture. Click on new. Name it translucency. Resolution doesn't matter for this one. Go to render properties and find bake section. Change the bake type to emit. And while the character and translucency map are both selected, click on bake. While the translucency map is selected, start balancing out the colors. Lips are way too dark. So pick up a white color and make them less dark. Then pick up a black color and paint the upper lips as well. Add some on the nose and around the eyelids. Also some on the ears. There's most likely too much on the arms. So make sure you fix that one too. Now in the bottom left window, make sure you have already switched to translucency map. And your map should look like this. Go to image, invert and invert image colors. Now ambient occlusion is useless. So get rid of it. Then control click on our main shader so we can see the shader again. Now shift A. Add a mix color and drop it between the skin texture and base color. Then connect the translucency to the alpha. Choose a reddish color for the color B. As you can see, we have red color in white areas, but it's way too intense. So shift A and add a color ramp and drop it after translucency. To lower down the intensity, click on the white handle. Then click on the color below and make it gray instead of white. Then start messing around with the handles to get a subtle redness in those areas. Now connect the mix color to the subsurface color and increase the subsurface number, but not too much. Increasing it too much results to plastic doll looking character. If you're not happy with the roughness, you can add a bright contrast node and drop it after the roughness. And just mess around with the brightness until you got your desired shininess. And that's pretty much it. I added some lights to the sides and back to test out the shader. And I think we got decent results. If you find the video helpful, like and sub would be fantastic. Make sure to download the 3D files and real time process videos of making these characters on my Gumroad and Patreon page. See you on the next one. Peace.